Still got some cloud cover overhead, and we got a little sunshine, though, peeking off off the distance there from Idaho Falls. And we have the uh, fog, low cloud cover settling back in here for tonight, and we might still get a few flakes out there. 30 degrees at the Idaho Falls Airport. Winds out of the southwest at 11 miles an hour. That takes your wind chill down to 21. Pocatello Farm Bureau Skycam, mostly cloudy skies. We've seen a few flakes as well. Winds out of the southwest at 6 in Jackson today. Also stuck with the dreary skies. Still getting a little bit of some light snow. You can even see a few of these flakes coming by the lens right now. 25 degrees with that snow in Jackson. Winds out of the southwest at 10 miles per hour. Wind chills down to 15. And clearing skies right now in Salmon with highs at 30. Well, numbers right now 35. And winds out of the west at 9 miles an hour. So your wind chills down to 28. There's the snow currently working into the southern and eastern highlands of Idaho. And again, some snow back into Jackson. But the mountains block that radar signal at times. So it's tough to get a good read out there. But we are expecting to see some lightly scattered snow showers for tonight for tomorrow and then again for Thursday. Area of low pressure continue to swing through California, Nevada and Utah as we get through Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to get a little bit of snow off the sky. Plus also it's cold. We're going to be wringing out some of that light snow from the low cloud cover and fog. Then our attention turns to the Pacific Northwest once again for this weekend. Thursday, we're not looking for anything crazy here. We got one low exiting the region and then a deepening area of low pressure that's going to start to work in. This guy here starts to move snow in our direction by Friday through Saturday and Sunday. You'll notice, though, that we're still on the colder side of that jet stream, keeping our numbers for the most part into the 20s and low 30s for daytime highs. Fog and flurries tonight for the Snake River Plain. Partly cloudy skies in central Idaho and even a bit of eastern Idaho getting above the inversion and seeing some sunshine there. As we move through Wednesday afternoon, we're going to have more flurries and more cloud cover. Trying to push back in a little bit of that cloud cover tomorrow afternoon in the upper valley at least with a slight chance of snow. And then the same here for Thursday. The cloud cover, the fog still just entrenched for a good portion of the Snake River Plain. But as we see that system approaching from the northwest, we can start to scour out some of that cloud coverage momentarily for Thursday afternoon and evening before the snow arrives for Friday and Saturday. Let's talk about that here on the Vipercast. By Friday afternoon, the snow is going to be with us here, and it's going to start to really pick up here about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Then we have more snow on the way here for Saturday afternoon, and that's going to continue into Sunday. And at times, we'll be accumulating a couple of good inches around areas of the Snake River Plain with a lot of good snow in our local mountains, not just locally, but for the entire region. We got patchy, dense, freezing fog tonight. Slight chance of snow. Winds at 5 to 10. Highs around 25 for Montpelier. 32 in Preston. 31 for Malad. 28 in Rexburg. 28 for St. Anthony. 25 in Jackson. 8-day forecast. See highs here. Again, stuck in the 20s for Thursday and Friday with a good amount of snow for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Highs in the upper 20s this weekend. Rexburg, chilly. Highs around 26 for Thursday. 34 for Saturday. 32 for Sunday. Central Idaho, 24 for Chows with a low of 3 tonight, 27 in Salmon, 22 in Arco and Mackey. Highs in Salmon at 29 for Friday. Highs around 30 for Saturday with scattered snow showers. Overnight lows this weekend, close to 10 degrees. Now for the Snake River Plain, Idaho Falls, a high of 28. Blackfoot, 28, 32 for Pocatello with lows back to about 17 tonight. And we expect to see a little bit of snow tomorrow, which is some low clouds. Mostly cloudy conditions for Thursday. Snow in the forecast with gusty winds Saturday and Sunday with highs in the mid to lower 30s. Pocatello 32 for Thursday, 34 for Friday. And we got the mid to upper 30s for Saturday and Sunday with those gusty winds. Overnight lows back to the teens and 20s. And it looks like we're holding on to the 20s well throughout next week as well. Idaho Falls 28 for tomorrow, 27 for Thursday. And we got highs here in the mid to lower 30s this weekend. Snow, gusty winds, lows back to the teens and 20s. And cold temperatures stretching well into next week. We'll send it over to Todd. Thanks a lot, Michael. Let's check your consumer news now. You better check your fridge before you pack your next lunch for school or for work. Kraft Heinz Foods Company is recalling about 2,400 pounds of its ready-to-eat Oscar Mayer ham and cheese loaf. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the product may have fallen victim to cross-contamination with under-processed